What's up Aquarius? This is Soul. And Aquarius, this is your July 2018 love and relationship uh, messages reading. Uh, the reading and messages will also be for Aquarius uh, moon and Aquarius rising. And I hope all is well, Aquarius, and for singles and couples as well too. All right, so I'm giving you, uh, at least putting this video up early, um, because I've decided to take the entire month of July off, uh, my birthday month, and just to, you know, give me a break. I really haven't uh, taken a um, extensive break since I started doing these videos, and it's been three and a half years long. Uh, so during that time, I just want to uh, be able to relax a little bit, take care of some personal things that I've been working on, and also uh, possibly, you know, come up with new ideas and moving forward in terms of um, proceeding to do these videos and, and may not even do anything, you know, differently or whatever. Just need to take a break. Anyway, with that being said, and then the, the bi-weeklies too will also be um, put out early. And because it is, you know, being put out early, just keep in mind, this is just all potential uh, energy, you know, things that may unfold. And if they do, then, you know, so be it. If not, don't worry about it. All right. So for the most part, for some Aquarians that I'm reading for to begin with, uh, the, just give a little bit of synopsis of what I feel that could be taking place in the month of July. There's um, things are. Uh, when it comes to relationships, things are hanging in the balance since the hangman is your overall energy for the entire month. And there's possibly a need to take a step back to evaluate a relationship. Um, the hangman could be showing up for singles in terms of, um, you know, wanting to step forward and putting your energy out there uh, and connecting with someone new. Uh, but there's something that's yeah, again, hanging in the balance or something related to you or maybe um, related to, you know, past relationships. Maybe there's some sort of hesitancy, you know, that um, fear because the fool card is in the reverse. Maybe it's fear um, not taking any risk or unnecessary risk and wanting to put your energy out there. But I do favor um, for some of you in the month of July because the, we do have the lovers here and that's in the upright position. The lovers is actually underneath the three of pentacles. So, you know, three of pentacles is representing the love triangle. So I'm not going to spend too much focus on that. So if that's the case, but it also could be an indication of, you know, uh, workplace affairs or attractions and uh, energies taking place within that uh, structure. Uh, definitely in the workplace environment because of the fact that the four wands, which is all about uh, structure for me and, and um, homes, it represents buildings. So it mirrors the uh, three of pentacles. So that could be something that starts up and it could be just a friendly, um, you know, could be just a friendly uh, thing that starts off in the beginning and then it could be something that turns very serious the reason why i say it's very serious or could turn into something very serious is because of the lovers underneath the three of pentacles now keep in mind it doesn't necessarily have to be related to a workplace um environment uh, for you know a new beginning in love start of no, uh, a new love the lover shows up for those uh aquarians who are already in the existing relationships there may be something Excuse me, there may be something going on where, you know, again, so there's a third party, there's an energy that's involved. That could be um, something that, you know, is going on. All right, so hanging in the balance, relationships, all right, someone's feeling insecure. Seven of Pentacles is relating to options as well. Options in the reverse, uh, seven Pentacles in the reverse position could be the completion of, well, first and foremost, having many options available. Um, for you to uh, meet in the month of uh, you know July, if that's what you want, and also it could be the completion. If you follow the sequence of the cards, the top row would uh, represent the first half of the month, and then the bottom row was you know represent the uh, later half of the month. So that could be the completion. You know, there's someone meets someone new. If you're single, someone meets someone new. Okay, there's a message here. I'm getting that someone needs to take a break. Or time out from a relationship. 
Okay, maybe this is why the hangman is showing up. Uh, because the four of swords, which is your energy, Aquarius, is in the upright uh, position. It crosses the hangman. All right. So somebody needs to take a break from a relationship. This is also to um, so take a break from mental stress. Yeah, take a break from mental stress related to a relationship. Okay. It's too much energy going on, too much um mind stuff mental activity but the four swords though i'm just getting that someone needs to take a break normally it's uh when i'm doing just a general reading and i'm not incorporating any other areas or aspects of your life aquarius that there's a uh, planning or a need to take a break for yourself um you know possibly um this is a rejuvenation card a, a rest period See, because that's what the four swords is all about. You see the lady. It is a lady that's laying in the bed. She's taking a rest. I need a break. Somebody needs a break from a relationship. And that's just to mentally unwind and possibly uh, crossing the uh, hangman to evaluate, um, you know, your relationship or what's going on or what's not going on. That could be the reason why the four swords is crossing the hangman. Um yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, representing your energy. So definitely somebody needs to take a break, okay? Um, we have judgment here. Now, I am skipping around here a little bit. We have judgment here. So it could be that um, something, you know, hidden from you comes to, the, you know, this is an awareness card. What's ever hidden in the dark comes to the light could be that you know <clears throat> some harsh criticism towards self could be taking place when it comes to relationships or someone could be judging you or you know criticizing you someone that you know basically um I wouldn't say unnecessarily happy. Interestingly enough, we don't have any cups here. And I normally talk about that before I even begin the reading, but we don't have no cups. So I don't know if I, I don't want to say that, you know, love is not going to be on the forefront for some of you just because the cups didn't show up because we do have the lover's card here, Aquarius. But I'm also feeling, too, that the absence of the cups relates to um, you know, whatever takes place in the month of July when it comes to relationship, it's not going to be very, very emotional. You know, those cups represent emotions, you know, good and bad. But it may just be that um, for some of you in the month of July, it's just nothing going on in, in, in the relationships. It's just smooth sailing for the singles. It could be, you know, you having... Uh, to possibly take a, a break or plan a vacation and if you do then you know there's a possibility of meeting someone new someone is traveling even though i don't have the six of swords or the six of wands here there's someone is traveling here because this four of wands still uh, for me it relates to you know relocating cohabitating um moving to a different area now the, the wands represent fire Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. Someone could be afraid or fearful of cohabitating since the fool, which is always about uh, in the upright position of major arcana, taking that leap of, uh, you know, faith. Um, and then you're fearless. You know, you're venturing or wanting to venture out into something new, start something new. Since we're talking about relationships, there's two. Actually, there's one. There's a bunch of people behind this fool. OK, so that could be also uh, incorporated into the options, having many people uh, surrounding you in the month. But somebody has a fear of stepping forward. OK. Um, and, you know, if it applies to you, maybe it has something to do with the judgment card being underneath the full card as well. Some sort of either uh, not stepping forward uh, personally because you're being too hard on yourself. That's judgment. Or someone, if you're already involved in a relationship, um, someone judging or criticizing you, or you could be doing this to the relationship too, all right? But somebody is fearful of uh, moving forward. Uh, and just keep it, 
like I said before, relationship based. Someone is fearful. And like the judgment card, something about yourself or the relationship that you're in comes to you know the forefront that you didn't know about and it doesn't necessarily have to be negative i mean <laughs> when i say certain things and i was just talking to a client on the phone the other day and i says why do people always seem to go to the negative first instead of the positive in terms of uh expected outcomes or whatever you know don't stay positive you know whatever you do when it comes to relationships just stay positive this four of swords is also to a thinking, overthinking, could be, you know, generally, excuse me, generally related to overthinking or thinking too much. So temper down your thought processes when it comes to your relationship. And like I said, I'm going to throw that in there to um, having to, you know, resort to unexpected outcomes when it comes to uh, your personal relationship. And I just say that because maybe something's going on in your relationship and you're already thinking the worst. And it may not be the case, okay? The lover's card is still a major arcana, and it, you know, I'm not saying that it, it's going to dominate or trump the rest of the uh, cards that are showing up, but it's very favorable and it's, it's very positive. It means um, exactly what it says, the lover. So some of you could be, you know, not dealing with any issues in the month of July, and there just could be relationship bliss, okay? All right. There's definitely a new connection coming in uh, for some of you. If you want to um, connect with that energy, if you're looking for new love, uh, romantic chemistry, this is, uh, you know, magnetic attraction, being on the same page, uh, sharing the same goals and ideas, uh, just that mutual affection and love for existing couples. And this could be for singles who are looking to connect. Yeah, I like that. And Cupid is in the moon, ready to shoot the arrow on the couple. Okay, so like I said, I just gave you an example here, Aquarius, that something could take place uh, in the workplace, uh, you know, uh, environment. And just giving you that example, when I mirrored the four of wands and the three of pentacles together. Um, and it just, you know, like I said, it might, it may not happen in the workplace environment, but if it does, it's something that just starts up. Uh, there's some sort of uh, attraction going on, you know, and then things start to pick up and then one thing leads to another. So we will see. Anyway, so for wines, someone could be, you know, again, traveling. Uh, this could be a, a couple traveling too. you know, that there's no issues going on with um, the relationship favored by the lover's card. So you could be and this is a happy family card as well. But I'm getting some movement here. The wands are always physical cards of movement. So I don't know if someone is uh, possibly, you know, traveling together. Keep it uh, romantic. Or some other kind of excursion coming in. But it's a thing that I'm seeing where it's related to uh, Aquarius, you, and then another person. Someone could be thinking about uh, two things I'm getting. Someone is fearful of possibly trying to uh, move in with someone. Or not wanting to move in with someone or there's some sort of reservations about moving in with uh, someone and to begin or to further um, progress the uh, uh, relationship or there's someone who is um, someone who's fearful of tra oh God this has to be traveling. Fearful of traveling to someone, but it's a romantic uh, connection. Now, that may not be you, Aquarius. It may be someone else who uh, is attracted to you or in a relationship with you or something going on with a uh, fear of, of traveling. Or it could be a relocation uh, where... Um, just say there's a relationship or there's a connection that was made and this person's in another state, another town, another city. But whoever I'm speaking to, there's some sort of fear going on here. OK, uh, so I don't know. And then the judgment is underneath that. So it could be so many things. Seven of Pentacles. I'm feeling that there is someone that I'm talking to. Uh, there's some sort of insecurity issues going on here. OK, definitely some insecurities. Um, 
This is with a co. This is with an existing relationship. Someone is feeling very insecure and um, not feeling stable, or the relationship in itself is not stable or steady. Pentacles. Now it could be a uh, you know direct Earth sign: Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. But it doesn't really matter because I'm picking up that somebody's having insecurity issues or they're insecure about their relationship. Nine of Wands is uh, following the Seven of Pentacles. So whatever it is that takes place at the uh, start of the month. Or it could be something that's going on right now since I'm throwing this video up early for you. Uh, it, it's friction coming to an end. This is the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Okay, some sort of friction coming to an end. Now this is battles and struggles. Could be internal, external, with others. Uh, normally I pick up. That the external stuff uh, could be something that you're dealing with and trying to, um, you know, put a handle on your relationship. Fighting, arguing, quarreling is the Nine of Wands energy. Um, and I'm only using this because it's a love relationship. So, and again, it could be, you know, directly related to the energy of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. But for the most part, Aquarius, since I'm reading for you. If there is anyone who is um, connected to a fire sign, if it is a true fire sign, and it's more or less their energy, it's like they're giving up the fight, they're giving up the battle, um, they're tired of arguing, they're tired of, you know, um, yeah, they're tired of arguing, they're tired of fighting, they're just giving, they're giving up here, <laughs> this is the seven, I'm sorry, this is the nine of wands in the reverse, they're just giving, they're tired, but it also could be your energy as well, that you're tired, and you just don't want to do it no more in terms of fighting, it's not, you know, really worth it, again, underneath the um, four swords, take a break, remember, take a break from a person, uh, break, mental break from a relationship, just to get yourself back in order, Whatever that may be. Okay, so the lovers, again, is here. So there's a formation of a relationship or um, it could be, you know, I don't want to. It also could represent strengthening of a current relationship that may have been doing, you know, going through some sort of struggles. You know, see, it follows the nine of wands. I was going to say something else, but I'm going to stick to what I, I'm, I originally thought of. And that's what I'm feeling, that there could be the ending of some sort of friction and battles. Uh, and there's lovers is coming in here to say, hey, maybe there's going to be possibly a turnaround uh, in an existing relationship. But, you know, it's hopeful. It's hopeful. It's not something that's written in stone. Whatever your situation is. Uh, okay, so I already talked about judgment. And that's just basically, you know, those things that I had mentioned before that I don't want to go over again. Okay, but this is also, too, I see. Uh, interestingly enough, it follows the lover's card. And I had picked up with this judgment card and some other uh, zodiac that I was reading for, but I, I can't recall at this time. But this is also, and this is the reason why I like using these cards, because they give me more information. Normally, the judgment card just usually has Gabriel. There's people there on the ground, and Gabriel usually, you know, comes out with a, a horn or something like that, and he's blowing a horn, tooting a horn. Um, but this is a couple, if you can see from, you know, the glare. This is a couple here. So that also, to me, is indicative of a relationship that could come together. Also, too, the people could be, even though it is, you know, judgment, someone could be getting married in the month of July. Now, I know that uh, if it's not you directly, then, you know, it's see, the cups are absent. So they usually, for me, represent invitations, you know, social outings and, and gatherings and stuff like that. But I'm picking up here where it could be that someone gets married in the month of July. And then this is the, you know, it could be the wedding party that's looking on, you know, at the couple. Family members and friends. So, you know, I, I don't just get the harshness or the criticism. I'm picking up something else with this judgment card. All right. Last card that I have for you, uh, Aquarius. Okay. Page of Wands is in the reverse. So there's some sort of element of uh, news or surprise coming your way and keep it focused on relationship, but there's a delay. That's what the Page of Wands uh, represents. 
Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, always for me, news and surprise coming very rapidly, very quickly. Uh, whether or not this uh, court card is the deliverer of this news or surprise, this also could be the indication of a relationship since it mirrors uh, the lover's card, but it's in the reverse. So I don't know if that is um, sparking me to say that there's a relationship that's about to be formed. Remember, this is uh, I'm reading this as a couple or, a, you know, a relationship togetherness. And then there's this whole element of a. Now, this is only a temporary delay. This is not a permanent delay. This is a temporary delay. But it could be that this person is waiting for... It could be Aquarius waiting for this person or this person waiting for Aquarius. Again, it's fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. But it doesn't really matter. It could be uh, any zodiac sign. Also, too, it's just a little tad bit of a hint of someone who could be younger. Uh, this could be a younger Aquarian. Uh, hooking up with uh, you know someone that's older and vice versa same thing could apply so the focus and the theme for you for the month is things hanging in the balance with the um, I'm sorry if I didn't hold it up in the beginning this is the hangman uh, in the upright position so things could be in the balance someone having to uh, take a step back to evaluate what's going on with their relationships see taking a break four swords taking a break to evaluate possibly and moving forward or whatever it is that you need to take a break or you know take a step back to evaluate before you know progressing forward uh someone has a fear of either um a romance at a distance or moving in with someone that also could be at a distance but someone has a fear of uh shacking up cohabitating or whatever you want to call it. It's, at least that's what I'm picking up. All right. So that's what I have for you, um, Aquarius. I hope it's helpful and beneficial. Uh, like I always say, you know, don't feed into these readings too much. You know, nothing is written in stone. And just to um, add, I'm still using the Vera Sibylla. And I don't like this card here. <laughs> so... Let's just see. Anyway, you could use this as a standalone message or you can incorporate it into the reading. You can do whatever you want or choose to do. Aquarius is fine by me. This, I think, is the first time that I have pulled this card during the love readings and since I started incorporating Vera Sibylla. The death card, it's Morte, uh, five of spade in the upright position. And it's a nasty card. Well, if you could associate the death card with the regular tarot, it's, it's still the meanings are still the same. Excuse me. It's like endings <coughs> and then new beginnings, something new. But keep it relationship focused. So uh, what it says here about the death card is in personal relationships, it indicates a separation, a breakup, extreme incompatibility or someone. Someone who's done something which can never be taken back and the relationship can never go back to the way it used to be. The death card relates to bitterness and regret for not having said or done things before it is too late. Now this, of course, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with this death card in uh, this uh, Vera Sibylla um, textbook that I have. But I don't have that much time to, to open it up. Just know that it's the death card and I just, you know, highlighted what I f felt uh, was significant uh, in terms of relating to the, the messages in a reading, you know, because we're talking about relationships and um, it's all of those things, separation, breakup, but it's an ending. Something um, comes to an end or something has to come to an end in order for something new to come in, I'll validate that with the lover's card as possibly a new relationship but also too you know just to stretch it just a tiny bit here it could be just a little bit of um things turning around uh in an existing relationship if there were problems from the uh previous past now definitely i would have you know said when i you know went ahead and said that if the will of fortune was here and that would have been assuredly most favorable uh, in terms of what I just said. But I'm still going to throw it out there. You know, what the hell? There's um, nothing for 
me to lose to say that, but I'm just saying it might be beneficial for someone else who might be dealing with the um, things that I just spoke about. All right, I'm rambling here, Aquarius. Uh, I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming month ahead. Um, emphasizing safety as I always do and sending you quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again Aquarius please be well bye